bed. Love. Bed. Bed. Love. <laughs> beyond. Bed, love, beyond. Bed, love, beyond. <laughs> Welcome to Bed Love Beyond, the podcast for the hopeful and the hater in us to discuss sex, love, relationships, and whatever is clever with like-minded people like you who are also in limbo with love like us. This is episode 126, The Big Bang Theory. Does size matter or is it mind over matter? What up, April? What's happening? Nothing. We're talking about penises today. (laughs) Always fun. Exciting. Guys, that doesn't mean tune out. That means tune in. Yes. Y'all need to listen more than anybody. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I feel like there's something you need to get off your chest. And we're going to explain why. <laughs> Anything exciting going on? Um, Nothing exciting. Uh, nothing mm-hmm. I can think of. If it's nothing I can think of, it's not exciting. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, same old. Same thing, different toilet. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's anything going on. Not even in my programs i don't know um i'm just enjoying having different shows on at the same time insecure and the affair and i've been watching shameless on when, netflix and yeah i heard you were really into that i gotta check that out everyone says it's like super funny yeah and it, it has its moments too where it's like serious but it's a good show i haven't good. see well married at first sight is new tonight but the last time i saw it it was, I don't know. Tristan and me are still saying I love you to each other. Mm. I, I feel like they're faking the funk. Um, I feel like where the the experts and all these people di- do usually get right is that those people have the personality for reality TV. Right. Because if you go in there and you're like calm and level headed and mm-hmm. kind of laid back, you're not going to get picked. Right. You have to have a penchant for drama. Right. And theatrics and you have to be a little over the top. Like, I feel like if you just go in there like regular, like, I don't give a fuck. Right. Like, I, I just want to be honest. Okay. If she married me or not. <laughs> like, if you go in there mad, laid back and nonchalant, they're not going to pick you. You have to have some kind of fiery something going on. So that's where they usually go, go right. Right now, things I feel like are going like really well with all the couples, except for like sometimes they like say things. Like the one girl was like, "Oh, I think I said told you." Like she was like, "Oh, you know, we hung out." He was like, "Oh, we hung out with your friends this weekend, had dinner with them. They were really nice." Mm-hmm. Although the one, the girl, the friends that they had over, the wife of that couple was like one of those women. She was like super alpha and was like rank, 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 to the husband and was like, you do this, you do this. Like he, they were like, oh, do you want a glass of wine? She's like, he'll have water. <laughs> and like was like very like, ju- like not judgy, but like very like in command of him. Mm-hmm. And like the husband said something to her like, I guess I'm just not used to their personalities. He's like, and I know I would never want to be in a relationship like that. Mm hmm. And she was kind of like, uh, that's just how they are, uh, blah, blah, blah. No, but that's how was, she is. Right. And he ain't slapped the living daylights out of her yet. Right. Yeah. Not that we can do violence on the show. <laughs> but y'all know. <laughs> um, but then, like, she was like, oh, uh, he was like, oh, so we hung out with your friends. I'd love for you to meet my friends. And she was like, um, I kind of, like, have my own friends. Like, I'm not really trying to make new friends. Like, bitch, you, what did you think was going to happen when you combine your life with somebody? And they don't have to be your friends. Right. They could be associates who are your husband's friends, and you are right. just associates. So, I mean, I'm just watching for, like, entertainment purposes. Apparently, 90 Day Fiance is a better show, but... Mm. I don't know the patience. I think I watched one episode of it once, but I didn't really know what's going on because I didn't see it from the beginning. So, but the I one... wouldn't do well on Married at First Sight because you know what'll happen. I don't love you, and I don't really like, <laughs> have to deal know with you shit. like that. So what's <laughs> so I'm I'm like giving it to you straight, like because right. you know how when you like love somebody and you don't want to hurt their feelings. I mean, you don't want to hurt people you don't love feelings, but sometimes things come on out a little bit more raw. Right when you're like, I mean. I don't really know you like that. You come at me wrong. Just come on now. You're still a stranger. Yeah. I'll just rip you to shreds and not really care. But, yeah, I don't know. That's where I would go wrong with Married at First Sight. It's still on. It's still going. I'm sure they're going to be looking for more people soon. I'm always curious how they pick the city. Because now they're in Miami, right? No, they're in Dallas. Oh, Dallas. They were in Miami. They were in Boston. They were in Chicago. 
Atlanta. In Atlanta. Right. Hmm. So I guess they're going to keep going like west a little bit. But um, L.A. They probably have so many um, things in L.A., oh so many God. applications. One show that I do watch, which I don't know how many people watch, is Shaws of Sunset. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. I really like them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know that was still on. Yeah. Wow. But the one thing I thought about, which I guess we can always talk about on another episode, is that, like, there's this one girl who's, like, in the group. Her name is Golnessa. And it's just, like, the other girl's, like, getting married and her best friend's gay. And, like, there's always, like, that one person in the group who, like, has to say some extra shit. And she's that girl. So, like, they mm. were like, oh, you know, congratulations, so-and-so. Her name is MJ. She, MJ's getting married. Mm-hmm. And they were like, oh, you're going to have, God, I forgot his name already, Reza. Like, you're going to have Reza as your best man mm-hmm. like, or your best woman, whatever, your mm-hmm. best person. And it's her gay best friend. And she was like, oh, how's your fiancé going to feel that you guys fucked? Like, and it's just, like, in front of everyone, in front of people she didn't know. Right. You know? And it's she just, had, like... Is she talking about the gay guy? Yeah. Like, cause oh. he said, you know, back when we were teenagers and we were young, and we didn't know any better, and I didn't, mm-hmm. was going through this whole thing about my sexuality. He's like, she was my best friend, and I wanted to try it, so we had sex. Oh. He's like, okay. and then I was like, yeah, I'm gay. Mm-hmm. You know? He's like, but it was nothing, like, serious. Like, I love her as a sister, you know, as weird as that sounds, blah, 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 blah. Like, it's nothing to make a big deal about. Mm-hmm. You know, and the girl just likes to be like extra, and like I was just thinking, like there's always like that one person in the group who has to like throw shade, mm-hmm. and those people you they, don't need. And in yeah, because I I feel like people who do that they they secretly have something against you or don't like you or or something wrong with them. There's right. some deficit with them, and it, and people like that. I mean, can you re- can you really truly believe they're your friend? Right. Because if you, I mean, basically the person is out to kind of humiliate or embarrass you. You might not, they might not succeed, but that's their intention. Right. Is to embarrass you or, because so, why would you just be blurting out random things like that that has nothing to do with the situation? Mm-hmm. There's so many things that I think about that I want to talk about. I'm like, oh, we bring it up on the show. And then I get here and I'm like, ah, I don't remember. I don't know. But if it comes to me, I'll let you know. I wonder if it was married at first sight. If, like, when they sleep with the guys, they were like, oh, damn, I really thought he was packing more. <laughs> like, I wonder, too. Yeah. Like. Because you don't know any of that before. Because I, I, in the beginning of this one, um, one of the girls was like, they get their ring sizes. That's all they get to know about them is their ring sizes. Mm-hmm. And he had a really small ring size. Mm-hmm. And she was like, oh, my God, he has really small hands, which means he has a really small penis. Which means womp, 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 womp. Or he has big hands and long bony fingers. Right. Mm-hmm. Just because his fingers are not thick doesn't mean his hand is. You know, dick fingers. Right. Like he might just have <laughs> long bony fingers. <laughs> this kid Brandon I knew, he had like long ass fingers and we used to call him dick fingers. I know it's inappropriate, <laughs> but we were 20 and it was funny. <laughs> um, But yeah, so then like after she had sex with him, she's like, oh, and his ring side has nothing to do with everything else. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah. Because I was curious. But um, imagine, like, you, like, just ran, like, I don't know. I don't know if people have expectations for what, what it's going to be. I don't know. So. I, yeah, I guess you just hope. Hope for the best. <laughs> hope, it, hope it's working. Yeah. <laughs> hope that it's and enough. It fills the gap. <laughs> so, how are we, how are, I see you got, like. April breaks this down. When April gets into something, like, she, like, looks at it from, like, all angles. She gets on this, like, scientific thing. Good with it. outlines. You really are. <laughs> I had a teacher that drilled outlines in us our, my first year of college, and I just, I guess it worked. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it worked. So what are your thoughts on this topic? Um, I think, okay, so does size matter? Yes, to an extent. For okay. me. Like, of course... I don't want you, I don't want it so small that I don't feel nothing, but I don't want it so big that it hurts. Right. And I've experienced both. Right. And like, you know, when it's so small, you're just like laying there waiting for it to be over because it started already before you know <laughs> that, you know, you don't know till it's you're like, ah, oh, damn. I mean, but as you get older, you find ways to know before you get to that point. Right. So that was a very young me that found out too late. Never again. So, there's ways you can find out what's going on down there before it even Trick comes me out. Shame on you. Yep. 
But then I've been in a situation where it was humongous and he was short, petite, with small feet. Really? We wore the same size. Oh, damn. I mean, his feet might have been a half size bigger than mine. Mm -hmm. Like a whole, like maybe a whole size. But um, he was skinny and maybe like a couple inches taller than me. And he was a little slim guy. And I was like, God. <laughs> what is good? And then that's where it all went. Hurt. It was no pleasure at all. Oh. I mean, like I that shit was in my lungs. I was like, uh uh-uh, uh, uh uh. Take take it out. Uh uh-uh. uh. I don't want no more. That's what little Kim meant by make it shift in your uterus. Yep. And <laughs> like, I heard mean? a I heard a story once. There's a a guy my family knows. He's uh, very I, I I would say maybe six five six six mm-hmm. and apparently the woman he was with um was having i guess vaginal problems mm-hmm. and it was because it was too big and the doctor Damn. gave her a ring to put around it so the whole thing wouldn't go in oh shit i was like get, no, no thank you Mm-mm. and i guess it was causing her i don't know like pain i guess it was causing other things happening up in there i'm like nope but that was that was the one time that was the biggest i ever saw and that shit hurt like hell and i was like no thank you there's a limit to this shit here <laughs> and your ass has surpassed it no thank you <laughs> it must be this tall to ride Mm-mm. nah so it, it like to an extent right mm-hmm. I, I i've been on both sides of the spectrum as well like mm-hmm. like is it in <laughs> oh okay Make the noises. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, oh, should I be great. making noise too? Because, okay. You're like, you're done. <laughs> it was in? Was that your finger? <laughs> Do I ask? Is it wrong to ask? And then I've had, like, where it's like, oh my God, I'm going to throw up. Like, like, I get why people say, oh, like, I sent her home not walking right. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, because shit is swollen. And now I'm like. Or oh, feel it in your stomach. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm like, and, and like, it's not good i don't yeah i, I have it's, no pleasure from that. it's like because you have certain parts in you that grasp certain senses and if you're not hitting all of those parts or one of those parts at the right time the sensation is just like i don't know i mean you've had a baby so i'm sure a doctor's like been up in there mm-hmm. but like I, that's what i can imagine it feels like and i'm just like no thank you yeah i don't want to feel like you touching things you ain't supposed to be touching right with it like i don't know like when it's in your stomach it, it, it actually feels like a fullness like something right. filled you up like where, what kind of pleasure are you supposed to get or from depending me? on the position you're like i think you just hit something you weren't supposed to hit yeah and it hurt just stop right Mm-mm. something ain't right and, and, and it's like is this good not, something not gonna get thrown really. off Mm-mm. no and that's kind of what it's sad to say he was a nice guy but that's turned me off from him right it's sad but because i don't think guys who have all of that know what to do with it Mm -hmm. and they're just walking around like ha, got a big dick right like good for you but it's not enjoyable right because you're not doing the right stuff because i could have i could have got pleasure from somebody much smaller than you right i don't some people be saying Pain is pleasure, and nope, not for me. No, I'm good. We're not masochists. Mm-mm. I don't know no pain. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> but I mean, I think from a very young age, it becomes like something people talk about, and guys like brag about it to each other, and it kind of becomes like this thing where, you know, your manhood is on the line. Here. Right. Yeah. We should have had a guy come on. I thought about it. I couldn't think of who would be some. I couldn't think of anybody I know who'd be comfortable enough. Right. A guy like uh, just nonchalant enough to. Right. Yeah. I, but if I you are a guy and you want to come on and talk about this, we'll have you back. We'll have this conversation again. Yeah. We'll have a little interlude in another episode that you can talk on and we'll have a little interlude about. Because perhaps I, your penis size and <laughs> what, whether or not you know what to do with it. If, and you, if you want to take surveys from your past lovers, go right ahead. Are you good with it? Are you? Yeah. Have but a little interlude. I think guys like, I mean, I'm not a guy. You're not a guy. You know, I think guys growing up, though, I guess like when that whole locker room talk starts, like, yo, I, I, I ruined her with this dick. Or, I don't know what the fuck they say. 
Right. But something to the effect that makes men very conscious of the size of what they have or what they don't have. Mm-hmm. And definitely in relation to what they think women think and want. Right. I think the penis size is like, I don't know about gay men and how they look at it, but I know straight men is, can can I please somebody as a lover? Right. I mean, if you're not selfish. If you're selfish, you don't give a damn. But, like, a lot of men want to please women, so that's important. Like, if it's small, I can't please her. Technically, you can do a little research, but with your penis, probably not if it's that small. You're probably not going to please her with that, but you got to find other ways. Right. It could, I mean, you could work around it, but I think men's main thing is, I, if I can't please women with my penis, what am I good for? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> you know that thing in your mouth? <laughs> right. And I think that, I mean, I guess, yeah, that's the, the alternative. And, and finding other ways to be physical and foreplay. And that's right. Thing, yeah. I do, I do think there's, like, a lot of stereotypes with it, too. Like, you'll hear the stereotype that, one, all black guys are big. It's not true. Not true at all. All Asian guys are small. Don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's not true. Something tells me that Yao Ming is packing. <laughs> is that his name? No. Yao Ming, the basketball player? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Something tells me. Um, Maybe even the guy from The Walking Dead. We don't know. And that Asian bodyguard on Love and Hip Hop. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could be wrong, but I don't know. <laughs> he was like, something going on. You know, and then I've had my friends tell me, be like, oh, he was pretty big for a white boy. And I'm like, I, I don't know what that means. Like, I don't. Because every white porn star is big for a white boy. <laughs> right. <laughs> most, I mean, the, the most porn, most male porn stars are white. Right. And all of them have big dicks. So. Right. Yeah. I mean, they are, but apparently they're not. They're a dime a dozen. White porn stars? Mm, well, ma- like Male. the porn porn stars. Period. Like mm. they don't take everybody. You gotta have you gotta have a big dick. And I guess what about little dick people? They they can't give love. Not in porn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so apparently, like you know, everybody walk in there don't get accepted right. to the whatever porn academy. I don't know. But yeah, I, I've read one of these articles. I don't know if it was in one of the ones I posted. But it said that that they're kind of like rare. Hmm. And if you think about it, it's not that many. I mean, I, I don't know any male porn stars names, but when it comes like I watch documentaries at the porn industry or whatever, there's not that many stars that make a lot of money. Hmm. Like there's some porn like porn stars, but you you may not be big, big, big. I don't know. My roommate was a porn star. Uh, the gay one, Angel. You can say his name. Or I guess you could you you do porn, or you could be a porn star, right? Yeah. But um, and I don't know about his penis. I never saw it. Never wanted to. But he had like a mold of his boyfriend's penis in my garage. Mm-hmm. That was a decent size. I mean, hmm. in any article, which is something very important for men to know, that any article you see about penis size or like, you know big what's considered big what's considered small all these articles all these all the research i can just summarize these all the research that's that's been done says that women are cool with average size penises right and men's perception of what women want is what fucks them up because women don't most women are okay with average size penises right they don't want super large crazy cocks up there right and men don't realize that men think all women want porn star penis, and it's not true. Like, if you ever saw the size of like a vibrator, like normal vibrators, like the pocket ones, mm-hmm. I guess, are normal right. or average, but they have ones that are like bigger. Mm-hmm. But like, we're not shoving that entire thing like in us necessarily. Like, and guys, look at that. I remember I, I bought a vibrator, and like, guys would come to my room and be like, oh. What's that? That's that's intimidating. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm not shoving this thing in me. Like, calm yourself. Right. Like, it does magic things. It goes around <laughs> in circles. I don't need the whole thing. I just need a little bit. I just need a little bit. Just a bit. 
And like, you know, then they're like, hmm, I'm like, dude, you're fine. Trust me. Like, I don't want to fucking feel like someone just shoved an arm up me. I'm and not that big. And then when you think about it, he, which we're going to probably uh, get into a little later, big dick energy, but <laughs> he probably was insecure before he walked in there. Right. And that just brought it on down lower. Did you ever notice that guys with like a little penis, they, they're compensating somewhere else. Like they're the funny guy or they're like, absolutely, you know, the loud one or, mm-hmm. you know, they're doing something else to compensate. Mm hmm. Everything. Like, she's not going to like me for this, so I have to bring something else right. to the table. Yeah. Everything but oral sex. I don't get it, guys. Like, step what up. What you should be doing. Right. Thinking about that focusing be. on you're not. Right. You're focusing on you, not me. <laughs> we have, that's the problem. But men's thoughts about their penis is, is definitely distorted and misconstrued based on what women say. Because when women are surveyed on it, but most women say... Like the, the average size penis, which in a, a really popular study was, I think, five inches. Mm-hmm. Like most women agreed that that was fine. Right. Like they were fine with that. And so all this issues with penis size, a lot of it, men, that's you. That's your issues. Now, when we're talking about penis size, are we talking about length, width, height? I think um, I know one um, study I saw surveyed women said women prefer width over length. Oh, I would agree. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I concur. Yeah, because you don't want to feel, I mean, length, if it ain't got no width and it's just length, would you poking me? Get mm-hmm. out of here. So, yeah. Um, guys, if you're short and thick, you might have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the head's thick and then the rest of it's thin. That's cool, too. That's the only important part. I mean, depending on what's going on. Yeah. But when it's like all like massive, you're like, Ugh. yeah. So, maybe. or it could be like pencil dick, and then you're like, nah. Son. What do we do with this? Yeah. Nah, son. I don't know. I think it's. I don't know. I've seen one. Have you I like wasn't... ever dated a guy? I'm definitely not using any names, or I mean, people know my. I'm just whatever. Just guys. Mm-hmm. Who were like, oh, like, is it okay for you? Like, have checked in with you to see, like, like, do you, like, are you okay you with feel it? Or see, or... like, yeah, like, what, what were you? What, is it what you were expecting? You're like, I, I how think, do you answer that? I think I was, um, I think I want to say I was asked that before, after, after, right, after, and I want to say I answered, like, not excited, <laughs> but. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, you know, like, it's fine. It's fine. yeah, don't call me fine. again. Right. <laughs> like, I, I guess it probably caught me off guard. So right. that might have been part of the problem. But I think I was just like, yeah, I think it's one thing fine. when a guy's having like, a, it's a little weird still when they're having like a normal conversation with you. Like, uh, I'm average. And you're like, are you looking for praise? But, you know, when the guy's like, it's big, right? I'm like, what? Right. It Shut makes you want to say no. Right. Yeah. You're like, actually, maybe. The other guy was bigger. <laughs> Sorry. And it's funny because when men, like if you, like let's say a, you meet a guy mm-hmm. for the first time and sort of like that couple on Married at First Sight and mm-hmm. you happen to have been with a friend of his. Right. I feel like men's first thought is, was he bigger than me? Right. Because most of the time they'll ask. Right. Was he bigger than me? Was the sex good with mm-hmm. him? Did you, you know? And it was like, well... He could have been bigger than you, but if he wasn't a good person, and most of the time he was an asshole to me, what difference does it make? Right. I mean, what? and, and it's like men don't care about all that. He just want to know, was he bigger? Right. He doesn't care the fact that you can barely stand the sight of this guy. <laughs> he, he asking you, it's irrelevant. Like, men got to learn relevance. And right. It's not about... Length, penis length is... We're, we're going to tell you guys throughout this episode what's relevant, what's not. So, first of all, penis length is not relevant. Penis width is relevant. Yeah, that's important. Um, now, is it the size of the boat or the motion in the ocean? I say both because it could be a nice size and you still don't know what you're doing. True. And Or you could be moving around and don't nobody feel nothing. Or sometimes you're the Titanic and you don't know how to drive it. Right. <laughs> so, you could be, the motion in the ocean could be off. Even with the size, or the boat could be big and ain't no motion. Right. So you got to have a little bit of both. What, the thing I hate the most 
and you could always tell it's like when a guy's been watching like too much porn mm-hmm. and they're like oh what was that movie he did and they're like doing and something he's trying extra. to do porn star right. shit right and yeah. you're like no mm-hmm. stop it you don't have big dick energy stop trying to create it you don't have it <laughs> that's a big so what is big dick energy cuz i'm like so this became somebody said it but April then did it, extensive it, it started it started like um maybe a month and a half ago mm-hmm. i think that they said the instagram post was june 26 it was from ariana grande oh and um she's just influencing people all over the world yeah apparently oh, her and she had a um a post of pete davidson that's her fiance's yeah. name right i think and, he's um, adorable i like that trashy look <laughs> he He's on Saturday Night Live, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so she had put something like he... Hold on. Let me find the right thing. I had the link, but it's not working. I don't uh, know how that works, so... Big dick energy. So she had posted something about him having, like... Like, she said a little joke about 10 inches... Mm-hmm. And they said she's since um, deleted it. Mm-hmm. But let's see. This might tell us what she said. Hold on. B. Davidson is very ambiguous looking. I have no idea what he is, but. So somebody said, I don't know what she put that. Somebody said, how long is Pete? And oh, as in, oh, because they said, oh, that's right. They said on her new album, she probably going to have an interlude mm-hmm. that has something to do with him. Right. And she did. And so somebody said, how long is Pete? And then the person said, oh, as in, this is tweet Twitter, I think. Oh, as in the interlude, not as in dot, 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 anyway. <laughs> and she replies and put like 10 inches. Oh, fuck. I mean, like a little over a minute. And... This turned into people start talking about how he got big dick energy. And then they started saying anybody could have big dick energy, even a woman. Like, it, like it's, it's become a phrase. Like when you just walk into a room and command attention or you say what you want to say and don't care what nobody so thinks. So swag? Pretty much. Okay. Pretty much, yeah. Because it's like they're saying the internet describes so what you, it as... what you wrote here says the correlation between penis size, materialism, looks, and big flashy cars, muscles, expensive clothes. Is that or is that something different? That's um that's a little different, right? But this one basically was b- swag, right? Yeah, this th- is is pretty much uh, uh become a new phrase for swag. That's pretty much big what it dick is. energy. Okay. Yeah. So. So they're describing it as the term has been used to describe a quality which comes from the security of having a huge penis or um, isn't necessarily, but isn't necessarily confined to the male sex. So I guess they're kind of comparing it to being alpha, being confident, mm-hmm. being walking in the room, not caring, not saying what you want to say. I mean, I was completely do. fine with swag. Why do we have to talk about big dick energy now? Because I, I guess it's a way to now to be used just in case you seem like you have one. I remember my mom was friends with this lady. And, like, I don't... I remember her son was kind of nice looking, but we were all little then. Mm-hmm. And I remember... I don't know why my mom tells me the most inappropriate things. I'm telling you, I was, like, under 14. Um, and she told me that her kid had to leave summer camp because the kids were making fun of him because his penis was too big. Mm. And at the time, I was like, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> and like, as an adult, I was like, that doesn't sound like a bad problem Right. But then when you're a kid, it's like anything that sets you apart. Apart from different, is, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's it's more so like, I guess it, the thing is, it can be used specifically towards men. Right. If that's where you're going with it. Right, right, right. So I guess that's the only difference between that and swag is that it can be specifically towards men. Men, I, I thought about what men have I seen TV otherwise have big dick energy. Of course, Idris Elba. Oh, of course. Everyone was like, oh, is that his, 
cell phone in his pants. Right. What is that? Of course, uh, of course, the game. I mean, we already have images of these people, right? So, um, but I thought of the game. I thought of um, I, I, even from the '90s. He always did Morris Chestnut. Mm. He always mm, had mm, it. Mm. Um, Good God. And who else? I mean, everyone's seen Safari's dick now, but I don't think he has big dick energy. He doesn't. No, that's the thing. I, he He's comes. Got a, a big he comes dick. across gay to me. <laughs> I do. Uh, it's something Safari's about from him. Love and Hip Hop. He's also a rapper here on the East Coast and kind of, I don't know. He he also got jacked for his chain. But fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> but like, he, I don't, I feel like he leaked the picture of his penis. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, sometimes they, they, they mean, when you're a reality star, you think, and when you don't have any talent, your thing is to stay relevant by any means necessary. And that's so. the thing about the, some guys who send dick pics and they're like, oh, look at my massive penis. It's like, mm-hmm. but you're a massive asshole. Right. Like, so I don't really even care about your penis. And the fact that you're for, like, you're for, you forced this on me. I didn't ask you. If I right. ask you for it and you down to send it, that's different. But just sending it to me out of the blue is very pervy. And it, 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 it just, it's just perverted to send somebody something that they, like, they didn't ask for. A, a nude shot of yourself or... Like, I just think a, a woman sending a guy a random picture of her ass is perverted. If I was still in the dating scene, I think I would just put the dick pics on Instagram on the Bed Love Beyond page. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I got today in the mail. New dick pic. And maybe put, like, a smiley face over it. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Some guys were just so extra. I don't know. Yeah, it's not a good look. Like, after it's, me and my ex not. broke up, he sent me a dick pic. I was like, What? <laughs> I don't want this then. I don't want it now. <laughs> Thanks, though. Do you want me to shop this around, find you a new date? Like, I don't know. But, um. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, it, it is. It, it, that's a very weird thing to do when the person didn't ask for it. No, it is. Yeah, it's, it's a very weird, just don't do it. Don't do it at all. Um, who else? What other celebrity has big mm. dick energy? French Montana, I think. See, I know Tay Dick's president doesn't have a big dick. I say French Montana. French Montana, yeah. Mm, I think he does. Um, hmm. Why can't I think? Oh, I, Eric from True Blood. I, I well, you don't well. Uh, Alexander Skarsgård. That was the one I that was in that movie that you tagged me in today. Okay. The okay. white dude. Mm-hmm. Um. Definitely Charlie Hunnam. Char- yeah. Mm-hmm. Charlie Hunnam walks around like all the swag in the world. Right. Um, uh, who else? Hmm. Why can't I think of people right now? Let's oh, see. uh, what's that? The what's his name? He was in Magic Mike, not uh, not Ch- Channing, not Channing, the guy who played the wolf in True Blood. Which that I don't know why I keep making True Blood references. Uh, he's married to Sofia Vergara. Oh. Uh, Joe Mantigliano or oh, something. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oof. Yeah, he's handsome. Oh my he's god. Very, yeah. Good God. He had Diamond Hunsu. Ooh. Mm-hmm. From Blood Diamond. Mm-hmm. Um. Mm-hmm. I I think Leonardo. Speaking of Blood Diamond, I think sometimes DiCaprio come across like he do too. He was part of the Pussy Posse. Mm-hmm. Depending on his role, but I know he he said he's insecure about his small hands. He always sticks his hands in his pocket, but that really? means shit. Yeah. We watch all through Titanic. His hands is in his pocket. Really? Mm-hmm. And when he's... It's dro- not like he's got that dick thumb, like, uh, what's your face? He says his hands are small. He's insecure about it. Mm-hmm. And the hands mm-hmm. drawing Rose is James Hamilton. Is that his name? The director. James Cameron? James Cameron's hands. Really? Doing the drawing. Yeah. I guess Leo didn't want to use his hands. I don't know. Or I don't know if James Cameron can actually draw like that. I don't know. Uh-huh. They ain't going to detail. That ain't Leo hands, though. <laughs> listen, if you can listen to this podcast, you are going to find out the most craziest. And it just if you don't even want to hear about dicks, you're just going to hear the most craziest fun movie facts that you have never heard before. You're going to be like, what? Then y'all going to be up on IMDb like, mm. You're like, what is this? Yes. Um. So, so, but sometimes he do to me. I don't know. He just... Yeah, sometimes he just like maybe depending on the role because I don't really pay no attention to him. Oh, uh, what's his name? Um, the one who's gonna play Venom. Oh God, 
I'm like really bad with names today. Oh my god. Venom but it, on the movie that's coming out, Venom. Marvel movie. Oh my god. I don't know. He's got the lips. Michael B. Jordan? No. Oh. But he he do too. Yeah, Michael B. Jordan does too. Yeah. Um I'm gonna ask Google right quick. I think um David Beckham. Who is gonna play Venom? Venom, not a uh, Venom. Oh God. Michael Jai White. Big dick energy. Wow. Who's Michael Jai White? Yes, he I know who it is. Yes, I do. He was you know he is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's my boo. Why am why is it taking me so long in life? Who else? I'm trying to think of Tom Hardy. God damn. Oh, okay. Yes, I can see that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's so cute. He is. I like Tom Hardy. Yes, definitely. I can definitely see that. But as we think of him throughout the show, let's just randomly call him out. Right. <laughs> let's do that. Let's and do we'll that. say the name and BDE. <laughs> just call it out and just keep talking. Right. So where was I on my little list here? So I think that a lot of times you get not us, but guys get like very caught up in like what it is or what it's not. And then when they ask the females about it, it's just a very awkward conversation. So I just feel like they should maybe be confident with whatever they have and learn how to use it properly. But I maybe that's asking too much. Or just really try to be in touch with, you know, I mean, I know everybody, nobody's going to stop having one night stands or booty calls or whatever, but it's kind of important to kind of be in sync with who you're sleeping with. So, I mean, you kind of know if you're pleasuring them or not, or... I mean, just be conscious of her body language and right what's going on. Like, did you, you know, like, did you do any foreplay? Did you try to make it as pleasurable for her as possible? I mean, sometimes you can't shove it in there if it's not right. Women have ready. to be wet, right? You can't just. I mean, yeah, you ready? Cause you hard. That don't mean she ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Put me in, coach. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, yeah. And, you know, we already got into, like, Hollywood and porn, but I think media and and Hollywood plays a, a big part because, pun intended, kind of, but, <laughs> but, like, it's like you watch movies, you ever see the towel drop scene? Oh, yeah. And it's always, like, the point of that scene. Or did you the, ever watch any episode of the, Spartacus? <laughs> then the look on her face is not a six-pack. I mean, that's part of it, but... Right. The the big kahuna is what is what's going on down there. I will say, as women, we're partial to blame. Because mm-hmm. anytime we do watch a movie and like late at night when that shit comes on like Showtime late or Skinamax mm-hmm. or whatever and they have like the naked scenes, I'm like, Damn or, you know <laughs> like, <laughs> like he's all he's working with. Mm-hmm. You know, but that's just kind of that's that's just kind of talk, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Well, part of being a heterosexual uh, woman, you're right. looking at his whole body. Right. It's not necessarily, yeah. like, because if he, honestly, if he came out with something, like, down to his knees, I, I feel like there has been times where I'd be like, oh, my God, I'm going to vomit. Like, that's going to hurt. Yeah, no thank you. That That's definitely going to hurt. No thank you. I think stripper culture, too. When right. When the male strippers pump theirs up until it's, like, an abnormal size, and women think that that's, a regular penis, and it's not. It's been pumped. I don't, pumped get, I don't and, get penis pumps, and, and I wouldn't want to put my penis in a pump and pump it up. These aren't Reeboks. Maybe if you're gonna get tips, <laughs> if you're gonna get, yeah, you about to oh pay your God. rent with tonight's tips. I guess you pump away. But it's uh, yeah. But is that a compensation thing? Because I feel like I've seen like to catch a predator, and some guys have had them in the back of their truck. I guess for strippers, I guess it's part of the show. But for regular people, they just want it. I they guess, just trying to make it, it bigger. Like, I think with strippers, it's already big, and that's just making it stay hard, hard I think. Yeah, and look a, yeah, and look a certain way and stay hard. So, But don't they put those rings on them to make them stay hard? I think there is some kind of the ring cock rings. they put on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, no one's asking you to do that, guys. That looks really painful. But strip shows, this part, even when a man is in a strip club, I mean, they go to the strip club, the stripper's twerking. 
they, they come tweak home, their nipples and shit. Right. And they, it, a lot of times, I'm sure y'all men go home, slap your woman ass, want her to twerk. Right. You know, <laughs> or, or you know, encouraging her to do squats to make her butt stick out a little more. Or some men are okay with their woman having breast implants. So you guys, you know, a butt injection, fake butts. So I had texted you and I was like, are we talking about like uncircumcised penises and crooked penises? Crooked penises are an anomaly. <laughs> I remember I think the first time the, I saw one, I was like, "Oh!" Or the the one that's kind of got a hook. curve. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a name for that. Let me tell you what that name is. I can't. Yeah, I came across it. I forget. Um, and apparently, there are there are a rare number of. I mean, a very small number of men out with two penises. What? Mm-hmm. In the same place? I think like they, a double snake head. Yeah, I think they call it. That is it. Diphallic. Eric Jerome Dickey had a character in one of his books that had two penises. Of course he did. She didn't leave his house for like three days. <laughs> Damn. Because you could probably get double penetrated. The, exactly. The last she Eric, said exactly. The last Eric Jerome Dickey book I read, that's what was going on. Damn, he's up to his ante. So the penis that curves up is, is called, it's actual thing, it's called Peroni's disease. Yes. I came across that one of the articles. And it says a bent, pe- a bent penis can make certain sex positions rock. He said you guys should try out the doggy's uh doggy style position because if his penis curves like that, he has better access to your G spot. And if his penis is super bent when he's erect, there's a name for that, and that's the Perioni's disease. And uh it's common in forty percent of men. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, it's common in men over forty, my bad. Reading is not my fundamental. <laughs> and it says masturbation can cause a bent penis. So if you're masturbating too much mm. It says masturbating with too much force or without lubrication can cause damage that leads to scar tissue, which we've covered, leads to a bent or curved penis that wasn't there to begin with. So if the guy's over 40 and it all of a sudden has bent up, what are you fucking Googling? <laughs> oh, my God. Diphalia. That's two penises. Diphalia. That's what it's uh, called. Yeah, I'm good on that. <laughs> that looks like funnel cake gone wrong, dude. One in 5.5 million. Oh, my God. Penile duplication, diphalic terata, or diphalasparatus. Okay. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) We're talking about penises. You want to talk about penises? Guess not. (laughs) Babe! (laughs) funny <laughs> how's it gonna ask me if i want pizza after i just saw that picture <laughs> <laughs> like, uh i guess oh my god so yeah two penises. two penises um what is it well when it's curved pay peori peori And also in in movies and um, TV, so we got the the towel drop. Mm-hmm. We got porn, which nobody's small in porn. No. And I wonder if there's small penis porn. We have like print ads where some guys have socks stuffed in their drawers. Right. Everyone's like, "Ooh, I wonder what Marky Mark's packing." Mm-hmm. Oh, but no, he was in that movie uh, Boogie Nights, and that wasn't his penis, or was it? I thought they said it was. Maybe it was. Yeah. Um, penis enlarged. Where's that Mark Wahlberg's penis in Boogie Nights? <laughs> My Google hates me. <laughs> the story of Mark Wahlberg's Boogie Night penis. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Mm, buh, 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 buh. I think watching Wahlbergers, I remember his mom saying, that's not my... Really? That's not my son. The mom was said something. Um, the penis and the well, smaller, 13 inches. We sculpted the version that was 12 inches long, and it was way too big. Special makeup effects coordinator, blah, blah, blah. Said it looked like a monster penis. It was the size of John's home penis, but Mark's. Mark's is like eight or nine inches shorter than John's home standing. Um, so I guess it wasn't his penis. Um, 
But everyone remember Marky Mark from like the underwear ads, Calvin Klein. Mm-hmm. And like, let's be honest, like guys and girls alike will be like, you know, oh, let's check out his bulge. Right. You know, guys wearing basketball shorts. Hmm. Gray sweatpants. Speaking of clothes in regards to like guys, don't wear gray sweatpants. Ever? When there's company. <laughs> when there's company. <laughs> Or if you, I mean, just know that for some reason, gray sweatpants show dick print. Just like women in leggings show their camel toe. Right. If they pulled up too far or too little, whatever the case is, I don't wear leggings. But I guess that's what happens if they pulled up too far or whatever. Or shorts that are really, really short show your camel toe. There's certain men clothes, certain types of like jogging pants or uh exercise clothes or gray sweatpants that show your dick print. So just be conscious of that. I think Denzel that. has big dick swag. Oh, yeah. Especially with his walk. Mm. His little movie walk. Yeah, it's, well, that's how he actually walks, but <laughs> I think he exaggerates it for the movie. Possibly. Anyway, it's, B- it's BDE. Yeah. You're in there. You're in there, Denzel. You're in there. <laughs> <laughs> and th- so these, I was curious about these penis enlarging pills. And my conclusion is this BS and it's all psychological I and they so don't too. work at all. So I'm what looking, did the, what did the review say? Cause it looks like you did some little bit of research here. S- yeah. So uh, everywhere I look is basically saying they are, it's a dietary supplement mm-hmm. and it's giving you almost like a vitamin. But how's that going to make it longer or stronger? Or- it's not. It's just making you think they work. Oh my God. That's the thing. So, uh, so I'm, I'm looking at the reviews on Amazon. This lady says, my husband was feeling exhausted, getting older. That happens. Pharmacist said, try adding free testosterone. Bought him new genics for a high price for one month. Supply. He didn't even notice any difference. This was for, this one is called Power Horse Growth XX. The most advanced male enlargement formula in the world. $92 on Amazon. Fuck that. Mm -hmm. And so she goes, after reading many reviews and product descriptions, hours of reading, I decided to get him this. He is on his third bottle and feeling better. Hubby is 50, thinks he is 25. On the bottle, it says dietary supplement. If you look up what what dietary supplement is, Right. It's like fiber, like vitamin D or vitamin C, one of them. There's nothing in dietary supplement that 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 indicates that anything in there is going to make your dick bigger. There's nothing in there. that a, a, a dietary supplement is not known for that. It's nothing in it. Dietary supplements are known to give you energy. So it's, I think, so, okay, anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Because I'm going to get to the point here with these little screenshots I took. So this guy says, or I'm talking this guy, taking growth XX early in the morning before workouts not only has me feeling stronger and more energized at the gym, but has me feeling younger and more energized throughout the day. I felt the impact during the first bottle. Third and most interesting, growth XX works. I think this was the company. Growth XX works. I purchased like three of these because that was the recommended amount. It served its purpose. Of course they would recommend three of them to you. They're $92 a bottle. Right. So here's some of the tips that Growth XX tells you. Add green vegetables and fruit to add some given tips in a day for better results. They say add green vegetables and fruits to your diet. Do exercise to increase the size. It doesn't say the size of what. Right. It says to increase the size. That could mean the size of your pecs, the size of your biceps, the size of your calf muscles. It doesn't say do exercise to increase the size of your penis. It doesn't. They 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 on point here. Follow each instruction carefully. Store the supplement at room temperature. Always stay happy. So then it says, which things do I need to avoid while using this supplement? Do not increase the dose as per your choice. If you have any allergy, consult your doctor first while using this supplement. It should say before. Do not accept that pack, which is sealed or broken. Keep out of reach of children. 
So the tips they're giving you for better results are things that give you energy anyway. That's why these people feeling energized. You add green vegetables and fruit to your diet, it's more energy. It's more sugar to burn off. You're producing more energy. Green green vegetables is more fiber, so you have more energy going to the bathroom or you're going to feel lighter. Right. Do exercise to increase the, the size. Size of what? Who knows? And exercising but, builds endorphins, and you won't feel so shitty about your exactly. penis. You start feeling better about yourself because you exercise. You're like, yeah, maybe it got bigger. Shaved a little bit. Got right. It. Have you ever heard guys say, oh, yo, you don't, you don't manscape? If you manscape, right. you get like two inches more. Exactly. Which is part of the... Ex- they say if, you, if a man has a big belly, it's making his penis, especially from his view, view look smaller. But right. it's also making it look smaller because his belly... Is hanging over a couple of his inches. Right. If you're exercising, your stomach getting smaller, your penis is showing up a little bit more. Ta da! It's nothing. These things are causing your your. These things they telling you to do is what is called co- that you could have done without the pills. That's what's causing your results. Natural things you could have done without the pills. The pills is psychological. It's all psychological. So I just fell across this blog. And it's different people asking for advice about how to make their penis bigger. So I'm just going to read you a couple of these because pretty much they're hysterical. Um, it says, how can I make my penis penis bigger? I'm 18 years old and about 5'10 and 170 pounds. My penis is about 4 or 5 inches when erect, and I want it to be at least 9 to 10 inches long and wider so I can penetrate deeper. Any advice? BTW, I am white. Can you give me good advice? Mr. X, one, you will still be growing and developing until your early, mid-20s. Two, the human female on average is only about four to three, four inches deep. Three, that would depend on what species you want to mate with. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um, someone said, embarrassing. Is there any way to make your penis bigger without pills or pumps? This is very embarrassing, but is there any way to make my penis bigger without pills or pumps? Nope. Oh, Twigman answers. Nope, and pills and pumps don't work either. Just separate your money. Just separate you from your money, sorry. Mm-hmm. Pills actually make contain heartful ingredient ingredients and no known pill or substance can cause penis growth. Pumps will pump up the penis, but at the cost of a permanent tissue damage and permanent bloated semi erect erections are later in life. Didn't give your size, dude, but how big do you want to be? Average about the average uh, I can't read today. Average about 67% of all adult males is 5.4 to 6.2 inches. Only 12% of all guys are larger than 6.2 inches and about 90% claim to be. Bet your size is just fine. So a lot of people have written in and are asking for advice. And I don't know who's replying to them, but I'm glad that they're being like very honest about right what it is. Like, no, nothing you can take is going to make you bigger. And you shouldn't be obsessed with your size. Like, it's not... It's not the end all to be all. And the, and most women you meet are probably going to be satisfied with it. Right. So, yeah. So if that's your concern, you can cross that off the list. Right. The next thing is taking care of your own insecurity because like we've already informed you guys, relevance, it's not, the length is not relevant. I'm trying to tell y'all. Um, one of these articles said, Women chose bigger penis size for one night stands than for long term sex partners. I gotta agree with that. And I and I was thinking, and it's a lot of, in a lot of articles when you know you have an idea about something, you look for articles, surveys, whatever that was done, try to back it up. Um but sometimes the sir um research or these articles will just give you some, like a, a statement like that without going into explanation right so i'm like let's go into explanation so it just like the article said women chose bigger penis size for one night stand than for long-term sex partner they don't analyze why right so i'm like maybe we ought to answer why so my immediate my thought was it's immediate gratification with no attachment right i don't have to deal with this big ass dick every day I just need this dick to last me over for like three months until <laughs> until I have maybe come across learn some dick, but this big dick could carry me over from this one night. That's what I was thinking when I read that. I was also thinking maybe women are scared of being sprung on it. Daniel from Insecure. <laughs> 
maybe as in maybe that's part of it. Maybe she's like, you know, I need you to have other things that attract me because I don't want to just be hung up on your dick and then be going crazy over it when the rest of you ain't right. I've been in a long term relationship for like a long time, even one before this one. But I can imagine if I were to think back to my heydays that I'd be somewhere. Let's say I was at a club mm-hmm. and I was dancing with some guy and he was pressing up behind me mm-hmm. and I was like, no. Sprung itis. <laughs> Two of my I'm words. Like, Whippification I... or sprung itis. <laughs> I'd be like, I'd like to see what that'd be like. But I don't know that I'd necessarily, you know, be like, oh, you know. Let's keep you around forever. Right. Because part of youth is I'm okay with the only thing I like about you being your dick size. Right. Right now. I don't. Right. I'm good with that. I'm not looking for you to pay the bills. I'm right. not looking for you to take me to dinner next week or whatever. I'm okay with that being your only good feature that, right. that we explore and then you go your way and I go my way. Right. Absolutely. Um. It's not a reason to keep a man either. No. We've all had that moment where we're like, but the sex is so good. Oh, it'd be good somewhere else. But he's too. a psycho. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you gotta have good sex and die, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You weigh the cost. <laughs> <laughs> you weigh the cost. <laughs> um, it, they said that women are satisfied with average size penis, which we've emphasized throughout this whole podcast. And my first thought was that's because gigantic penises hurt. They do. But there's they had a flat statement. Women are more satisfied with average size penises. That and they don't go into why. It's mm-hmm. cuz humongous penises hurt. And why did they make sure Oh, they said they made sure to use a neutral color so the penis when they showed women like penis sizes, like an image. Or were they like and they orange? used them, they made them all blue. Oh, okay. <laughs> and they said they to avoid any they said to avoid any particular race. Oh, okay, that makes and sense. And of course that's because there's a myth that all black women have big penises. Black men. Black men. What I say? Women. Oh my God. <laughs> black women have big penis, which objectifies black men and it's a myth and I think it creates I, I think it creates a little racial division there, a little tension between men of other races and unnecessary intimate and unnecessarily intimidated by a myth that you know nothing about after dating people of color and then dating somebody who is white lacking in color uh, the first question is like oh he had a big dick didn't he it's like what Mm -hmm. that's like saying he he ate fried chicken and watermelon didn't he I mean, that's like, essentially that's actually, sort of the he same was a thing. Vegetarian, right? I mean, it, it. I mean, fried chicken and watermelon sounds more historically racist, but at the same time, you know, the mistress of the plantation it, was sneaking I, down to I the cake. I think it is like cabins. a really big deal, though, for for white men because mm-hmm. it is such a thing. Like, I know my friend told me she was like, "I can never tell my boyfriend that I slept with someone that was black." I was like. Well, why would you even have the conversation anyway, really? Mm -hmm. But why? It's like he's going to be insecure about it. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that dude wasn't that big anyway. But like, why why do guys get so wrapped up in that, you know? Mm -hmm. And and it's a stereotype. And and I guess if you think about it, I mean, unless they want to explore that with their woman, like you you had a black partner. Was he big? Right. Like, I mean, unless you're really going to open it up. Like, that myth is going to live. I think us as women, though, are just as guilty with that stuff. I mean, I maybe it's just kind of conversations we have. But, I mean, I'm sure that women have been like, oh, I was with this black guy and he was huge or whatever. Mm-hmm. But, you know. More, more excited and more so than she would right. mention if he was white or some other. Or just I was with this dude and he mm-hmm. was huge. And they're like, oh, but wasn't he if, Jamaican? If you, if you, specified black right then it, it, it's feeding into that stereotype right. that, or i've heard yeah. women say like oh i've always wanted to like be with a black guy i'm like do you think they do something different right to see <laughs> because some of them are just as bad in bed as the guy who you're with like right mm-hmm. you know like most guys don't to see if the, i mean i guess that's a in a way that's a good stereotype but right. you know in a way it does create tension like the girl said about her boyfriend right being, like i said you know the so the mistress of the plantation was sneaking down to the slave cabins. <laughs> I mean, and and and, and, and sorry, but I, I mean that 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 started from there. You're gonna take it way back. It could have started from there, like 
why is this woman leaving her little house going down in the dirt? Because that's where you are in the dirt. Nobody had no bed down there. <laughs> you was bent over in the dirt. That's crazy. But I do think that, too, like maybe since men don't want to ask each other about penis size or don't want to talk about it or what I think it's like a taboo conversation, well, now you left insecure and intimidated by something that right. you probably shouldn't be. Because you're just letting the stereotype and the myth live on, and you they're never going to talk about it. Nobody's ever going to bring it up. Like first. your vagina's ruined now. Like really? Like no. I don't. I can't see. I mean, there might be one that there's going to be somebody that come out next. One of their friends, but it's not right. going to be a, a big consensus of white guys going up to black guys asking, "Is it true? Is your big dick big, big?" Nobody's gonna. I mean, that's, right. That's very weird and random, but um. My boyfriend says he's been in situations where white guys like look over the urinal at him. Like, obviously, like right. staring. I was like, that is fucking creepy. Like, and he was like, a lot of times if it's a stall and stall is free, I'll go in there because it, yeah. it, it, it creeps me out. And I was like, you're never yeah. supposed to look, dude. I mean, that's like, that's like if women didn't have stalls and you like looking all of my cooch. I'm like, why? You got a cooch too. Why are you worried about mine? It's just, but it's weird to that you're like you're not even doing it like discreet, like literally turn your head and. It's such a ju- it's such a juvenile thing though. Like, why are you concerned? And then once you see it and you see the size, now what? Right. What, what that's gonna mean for you? Your girlfriend must be happy. What? You, you saw one black guy with a big dick. Now what? You think the rest <laughs> of you think it's true because you saw one? I mean, it's crazy. It's weird. It's crazy. It's perverted. It's, it's very random, and I mean, it, it's objectifying a group of people. And I mean, just like I mean, you know, different women get objectified already, right? As women, period. No matter what race, background, whatever you come from, and then you know, I think white women get objectified in a way where they're expected to look like porn stars, right? Because most porn stars are white. And the, the higher paid ones, most of them are white and they're blonde hair and big boobs and mm-hmm. skinny. And I think sometimes white, you know, men or even if they are brunette, they big boobs and they slim. Right. With little waist. With small waist, flat stomachs. Right. Kind of full lips. You know, men, ha- you know, porn is a little, you have to take it with a grain of salt. You watch it, you get aroused. You jerk off, have sex, do whatever, and you leave it there. When you taking it with you, it's not real life. Outside of its realm, it, it, that's when it starts getting a little murky there. So I think white women get objectified in that way, where you need to fit that mold, and then black women get objectified because of their bigger thighs, a bigger butt, or bigger boobs, or bigger lips, or all these things, it or wider hips. Like these things are become just just it's like it, it may it creepy. may it may have like some factual basis but it's not it's not the bible it's not like right it's not definitely written like because then when you don't have it it's like you're less than i've you. seen like black women who are like dainty and like don't mm-hmm. have anybody really right you know skinny dainty and like lanky and you're just like oh okay like uh, something that sticks out in my head is Jada Pinkett Mm -hmm. being insecure because she said a lot of the women will dated before her were curvy. Right. And, and she's very tiny and petite and no boobs and Mm -hmm. no button, no just tiny, petite athletic build. And Serena Williams said she envies her sister's body. Her sister's taller and longer Mm -hmm. and slimmer. And her sister's like, I envy my sister's body. Cause she's thicker and curvier right. and has a big button. That's what she want to look like. So, women talk about that stuff. Guys would never be like, you know. Man, I'd love to have that six pack. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, you might be looking at him thinking it, but to say it, no. Or he's got to have at least ten inches in there. I'd like to have that. Like, no, guys would never say that. Right. I ain't gonna have. But them. they think it. That's the thing. Right. And they obsess over it. And mm-hmm. then, like you said, they watch things on TV or watch porn and then they think that that's what they should be doing and that's what they should be like and well that's what they should look like and one thing i learned from watching um 
bodybuilding document all the bo- bodybuilding documentaries on Netflix. Um, they have small penises, right? Or is that a myth? Um, steroids. The steroids strengths it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, some uh, some people don't take steroids, but if you do, yeah. So I wonder if The Rock has a small penis. Mm-hmm. He sure do got BDE though. <laughs> you fools sure fool me, Rock. I don't know. He said he used to take steroids. I just assumed. I don't know. Oh. I honestly don't know. I, I also know, heard he I used know to like one time his he wife, said so. he work out like five hours a day. Cause yeah, I, I've seen like mm-hmm. his videos where he like works out like all day and then eats like yeah. these crazy meals. Mm-hmm. But I think like when he used to play for Miami, I wonder if he played with uh, Rohan Marley. Um, random fact. Uh, I don't think back when he played for Miami, um, he had a problem like with domestic violence, and I don't know if it was a steroid induced type thing or mm. just a pissy attitude. With his girlfriend, he had his girlfriend. That's what the rumor was. I mm. have to look it up for a fact, but he said too he's been suffering with depression after he watched his mother walk in the traffic trying to kill herself. Jesus Christ. Yeah, maybe that was part of it too. His anger problems and all that. But anywho, um. I think all of this, these things, you know, I mean, having a big penis objectifies men. And I can imagine there's men out there that don't want to just be known for that. Right. Just like women with their boobs and their butt and whatever other assets they have don't want to just be known for their physical assets. Mm -hmm. So, um, but, and, and what's sad is that men and women both objectify each other. We both perpetuate it. Mm-hmm, we do because when you compare when you hold yourself up to that standard you're perpetuating that like if you like a lot of women like to say which i don't like oh well i know i don't have a big butt and big boobs what what do you need that are you a good <laughs> woman without it why would you start a sentence off like that i mean but it, it's so it's so ingrained it's so the you know everyone has their insecurities i think and sometimes people wear them on their sleeves and sometimes people just casually slip it out like somewhere somewhere in the conversation and it it just goes to show you the power those standards of beauty is is just like people don't even know right that you're a slave to it like you don't need that who said you needed that what you talking about like you know like a guy will say like like a woman thinking i mean that's crazy to me a guy automatically hear black guy he hear big dick Mm -hmm. and he's I like to say, first of all, I like to applaud men for having dick and balls at all. Because I just can't imagine having all that extra meat there <laughs> and, like, having to walk around with it. That's why they itching it and like, moving it and I'll shifting like, it. I'll ask questions. I'm like, where to go? Yeah. Like, yeah, he's like, I have to move it. Like, what do you mean Is you have to itchy? move it? Like, where did it move to? Where do you, Are you comfortable now? You got, like, tuck it someplace? Like, what's going on? Like... Where does it go when you move? Uh, when you when you move to the left? Like uh, even if I had it like laying on my leg, I'd be like, yeah, like I don't know. <laughs> Dicks are not really that pretty. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm not like super like. I mean, that's I don't think they're ugly, but they're not like oh. Pour a little honey on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm not. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that, but I would tell you this: I'd rather be small than big. <laughs> my mouth only goes so big <laughs> and my jawline is not that large that's funny but i mean yeah just just watch the objectifying watch perpetuating i don't it. think any guy wants to hear oh your dick is too big for a head no i've tried that before <laughs> it work. I'm like sorry it's just too big Wait, he could be it. flattered and upset at the same time <laughs> <laughs> not getting hit but since my dick is big that's cool <laughs> but um yeah we got to stop with you know I mean, but it's all, you know, like men and women have a lot to do with it in their own gender. Men idolizing porn stars, idolizing people that like, it's just like in the, you know, the bodybuilding, like these people, you can't look at that and think you're supposed to look like a bodybuilder when a bodybuilder works out six hours a day. The average person with a job cannot do that. You can, but I mean, come on. Like when, I mean, you have to have time to go to the bank and go to the grocery store and do regular people stuff. You do, you cannot work eight hours plus count the average half hour of transportation. That's another hour. That's nine hours. You since you 10 hours since you left your house. If you work out for four or five or six, that's 16 hours. It's only eight hours left in a day. So let's be realistic here. Most people with an eight hour job is not going to work out six hours a day. 
But when you see these bodies, you see porn stars, you see bodybuilders, these people work out for hours upon hours a day to look like that and eat mad protein. I'm talking like one guy in one of the docu- documentaries spent five, six hundred dollars just on his food and Whole Foods on his Damn. stuff, separate from the family groceries. So, you know, so, it might have might, might been two, three hundred dollars, but it was hundreds of dollars for just his stuff because he eats raw eggs and all that salmon and all that stuff every day. And it's extremely expensive. So, you know, how many songs can you think of that are about penises? There's a list here I have of 10. Does this rain in men count? No, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not really about penises, but ain't too proud to beg. Mm-hmm. 10 inches of a yard rock harder if it's sagging. Right. They mentioned that in their little Netflix conversation. Do they? Session. Yeah. She was like, that was like taboo for a woman to say in 92. Apparently, Whenever there's a song, came song out called Detachable Penis by King Missile. Never heard it. Mm-mm. Katy Perry, Peacock. 20 Fingers in the Gillette. I didn't know that was the name of the band. But Short Dick Man. Everyone remembers mm-hmm. that song. Don't mm-hmm. want no short dick man. That was a horrible song. Mm-hmm. And I'm like sure that didn't really help your egos, guys. Sorry. Kind of a game. Sorry that we were it? singing it in the club. <laughs> was it? Yeah, I always remember it on the movie Low Down Dirty Shame when <laughs> Wayne was dancing to it. <laughs> There's a song by Risque. There's no better. It's called Smell Your Dick. Mm. There's no better way to call it your man who's you suspect of cheating than getting all up in his grill and smelling his dick. Risque knows. <laughs> wow. Little Kim featuring 50 Cent, Magic Stick. Mm-hmm. Grace Jones, Pull Up to the Bumper. Oh. In your long black limousine. Mm-hmm. Yes. Or Patra, whatever generation you come from. Mm-hmm. Uh, Macklemore has a song called The Penis Song. Mm. Bet you do, Macklemore. Genuine Pony, my personal favorite. Mm-hmm. Prince, Soft and Wet. Okay, Prince. You would thought Pony, but the first one come to mind. I didn't even think of Pony. Uh, PJ Harvey, Long Snake Moan. I don't know who PJ Harvey is, but those are the 10 that came up in this one list. So I think that's a, it goes along with the whole fact that um, media and movies mm-hmm. and everything else, as obviously music, makes you uh, kind of conscious of what you have or what you don't have. Right. But as long as you have a penis, <laughs> learn how to use it, one. And if you feel like it's not, first of all, Women's vaginas are different sizes. Yeah. So, what's good for the goose is sometimes not good for the candor. Mm-hmm. Or what's one for, good for one is not good for the other. Right. You know, you may fit lovely in one thing and then not so great in another. Mm-hmm. But as long as you know what you're doing while you're in there, and you're not, like, just doing the basic, like, <laughs> You you know what that is. Mm-hmm. You should be okay, and if you don't, you should highly consider oral. Like it kind of right. just makes things like okay, it doesn't matter. You're like oh, that wasn't so great, but foreplay definitely helps, fellas. Like, right, seriously, especially if you if you're honest with yourself and you know you're not packing. And by packing, I mean average. Like go to extra mile. Y'all should be going to extra mile anyway, but. Right. You you in particular really need to go the extra mile because you know you ain't got it all. So, um, Penis size and cars and all that, I definitely think men overcompensate with cars. Not to say all men with Ram 1500 trucks and Porsches have small dicks, but I think the ones who do tend to go towards those type of cars. Yeah. To compensate for, well, you could ride with me in this Mercedes, even though I have a small dick, but I'm you making up for because you're riding in style. You're right. So I think that definitely has a lot to do with Next guy I moves mean, a small dick better come with a Tesla X. <laughs> That's the only way we're getting over this. Muscles, expensive clothes, all that stuff. I think men definitely use that stuff to overcompensate. Yeah. And I think it most a lot of the time it's obvious. I think when men are loud and sarcastic all the time and just very assholey mm-hmm. about everything and got to be heard and got to be seen. And I I definitely think like sometimes you'll go to a wedding or you'll go somewhere. Is is this one guy that won't sit his ass down? Mm-hmm. He want everybody to see his little suit 
or whatever the fuck he got on little dick man little there's dicks. also the guys who have decent dicks or big dicks or mm-hmm. quote unquote big who know it and are like way overzealous about it and are just mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. you know and th- sometimes they don't even like feel like they need to make the effort to do anything like I'm flying these basketball torch and t-shirts like are you though you could have made a little more effort right and are you we talked about relevance like guys do you realize having a big dick is not relevant if you don't know how to satisfy a woman right they don't go hand in hand just because you have a big dick don't mean she's satisfied it doesn't mean you satisfied her it doesn't mean she she had an orgasm it doesn't mean any of those things so you can have a big dick but you still have to know how to satisfy a woman with it mm-hmm. and with the rest of you your tongue your hands um what you say all those you're just things your whole matter. personality like you mm-hmm. can't you can't come off like an asshole and then you know right women like, are okay very, he has a big dick no big deal you know we a lot of time we work we working off emotion we working off mental i shouldn't say emotion that's not the same mental right. you got to be mentally stimulated you come in saying stupid asshole stuff it, it ain't gonna happen it, right. you're it doesn't matter it. how big or doesn't small your dick is. It is nope you come home you come in being an asshole being super sarcastic being cocky i don't know who oliver vernon is but apparently he's gonna be playing for the new york giants he has big dick swag yeah he does <laughs> go ollie <laughs> welcome to the giants <laughs> They don't call him the Giants for nothing. Mm-hmm. I don't understand how Victor Cruz is retiring. He doesn't look like he has a big dick, though. He has swag, no. but something tells me he's not packing. But when you, I mean, 31, like the the age they go into the NFL, like early to mid-30s is actually retirement age. Yeah, I guess that's better than like getting one too many concussions. You'll keep blowing your knee out and all that stuff. Right, and then you're mm-hmm. shit out of luck. Yep. So, and the last thing we got to cover, circumcised or uncircumcised. Oh, God. God damn it. Well, I ran across an article that says, not true, that uncircumcised is, you know, a playground for bacteria. I disagree. It just looks like it is. And that's been a myth for a very long time, and I think it's true. And don't bring your goddamn turtleneck dick around me if I'm ever single again, because it's fucking gross. And go get that goddamn shit taken care of. I was just like working up hashtag penis eyes on Instagram. <laughs> that's why my face is making these faces. <laughs> I'm going to have to share some of these. But you do have to pull back the skin and get all up under it and make sure it's no, it's all clean under there and it's goddamn gross. Not for nothing. I mean, I don't know. If your penis is uncircumcised, I'm sorry if you offended, but we really not here to um sugarcoat anything. Welcome to Bed Love Beyond. We don't do that over here. Not yet. a fan. I, I, I mean, there's a lot going on. It was like, oh, there's a beautiful package underneath, but right. so much work to get to. I seen it one time. It, it it didn't go inside me. I couldn't I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. it. Was it was a nice size, very very pretty smooth chocolate. I'm gonna repost this one. It says, guys, stop ex- uh, stop obsessing over your penis size. As long as you are confident and dominant in bed, you will really succeed. Mm-hmm. And I think that's facts. Circumcised. Oh, and and circumcised. <laughs> be like, also please be circumcised. I saw a nice smooth chocolate <laughs> Snickers. Grab a Snickers one. One time, and that fool slid that skin back. I said, no, 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 no. We ain't doing that today. Not no other day either. Mm-mm. Couldn't do it. That shit look like goddamn snake coming out of the damn uh, 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 skin. I, I can't. Mm-mm. I'm sorry. It's not, um... You could unsubscribe. I never saw anything like it before, <laughs> and then when I saw it, I was like, oh, I wasn't trained on this. <laughs> <laughs> It was like if you're like a PC person and then someone puts a Mac in front of you, you're like, oh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I, I I don't know. Nah, bruh. Get that shit taken care of. Mm-mm. Nope. Yeah. I mean, I'm personally not a fan. You don't seem like you're personally a fan. But there's some women in there, some women who will be like, oh, you know. Well, if you want, you're a woman that don't care, it don't matter, you don't think it look weird, good. Go on and ride it. 
Me personally, ain't gonna happen. It's a lot. It's like <laughs> a lot. It's like it's like you need multiple people to like hold things in place, <laughs> and it's just a lot of work. Yeah, I don't like how I look. I ain't fucking with it. Well, if you were ever wondering about the dick size zodiac. Apparently, Sagittarius. Nope, Scorpios have the biggest dicks. Mm. Scorpios are the biggest dicks. Uh, Way to go, April. November third. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, April. Uh, let's see. Leo's six inches. Aries three inches. Aquarius eight inches. Sagittarius ten inches. Cancer seven inches. Capricorn one inch. Damn, uh, that's not true. What? That's false advertising. Man, I don't think nobody one inch. Not no. even my son. <laughs> Three. I don't think he won it. Well, apparently his dad's a Scorpio. He's so. a, right. He at least two and a half. Gemini eleven, Pisces nine, Scorpio twelve, Libra two, Virgo four, Taurus five. I don't know who made this meme. Somebody had nothing else to do with exactly. the Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I don't know what's going on up there. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't have to do a penis, that though. That is like a next level loud. I, trust me, I live here. So on that note, if you have a topic you want us to explore or have any questions you want to ask. Or a penis you want to talk about. Right. We can, You can write it to us at bedlovebeyond at gmail.com or text us at 201-862-8BED or 201-862-8233. Thank you for listening to us on Podbean, iTunes, Pocket Cast, Stitcher, and Google Podcasts. Please rate, review, like, and subscribe to us on any of the devices that you listen to on social media, Gmail, Bed Love Beyond, website, bedlovebeyond.com, Facebook, forward slash Bed Love Beyond, Instagram, Twitter, Periscope, and YouTube at Bed Love Beyond. You can also follow Facebook.com forward slash Miss April Speaks, Miss April Speaks dot WordPress dot com, Twitter, Instagram, Miss April Speaks. We're out. All right. And thank you everyone for liking the stuff on WordPress. Keep it up. Thank um, you guys. Welcome. And uh next week we'll have something fun and exciting for you as well. So join us. Peace. Peace. <laughs>